Hello there. Now, Lego have definitely got a history of re-releasing sets later on in a few years' time. I mean, even this year we saw it with the 2007 Clone Wars Battle Pack being brought back into an updated version with a bunch more droids. We get a tri-droid. We'll take a look at it in a second. But today we're going over a handful of sets that are being re-released this year and course the battle packs already come out we've got the midi scout falcon we've got r2d2 and even a sith infiltrator which you won't have seen yet because they came out the day that my last rumors and releases video was released but i guess you're getting a sneak peek to the end of this month and we're just going to compare them because a few of them are a bit more recent than you might think and i'll be explaining why i personally think this is an amazing idea from lego and especially for the 25th anniversary there's bound to be a bunch of sets remade this year so starting off as i said the clone troopers battle pack set 7655 came out the 1st of january 2007 and was in fact the first battle pack that lego released it's the first star wars ones we got a few others throughout that decade i think toy story came out not too long after and we got legends of chima which also had their own version of battle packs but this is really what started it off where there was a droid one as well as this and we're rumored to get a certain droid carrier for the may 4th promo it could very well be based off the other battle pack and it would go amazing with the one that they released in january I have already reviewed it, but if you weren't aware, there is a Clone Trooper and Droid Battle Pack, which you can still buy on LEGO. My review is up, and in fact, I have already improved this set and modified a few different things. I've built it minifigure scout. I've ended up building mechs with it and all sorts, so definitely go check out those videos. But as you can see, the speeder bike in it looks nothing like any of LEGO's modern bark speeders. In fact, that is what this is meant to represent. It's meant to be a bark speeder, I guess, early on before Clone Wars. So they only really had the Tartakovsky version to go off. And it's a nice callback to that original bike. But Lego have also released a MIDI Scout Millennium Falcon in the past set 7778. And this came out the 1st of July 2009. So this was during season one of the Clone Wars. I'm not quite sure if. It even come out yet in July, but it was available around that time. And as you can see, the new one isn't too much different. It's definitely an improvement and they've definitely smoothed it out. But the old one still would hold up as a cheaper set today. Not as expensive as the new one, but this did retail for £35. And I think a few people wouldn't be disappointed. Of course, there will be complaints because of how many studs are on it compared to the MIDI scale last year. But it's still a decent model. It will set you back £160 if you want this new off Bricklink. But the new one only costs 75 which is still a bit pricey. But comes out alongside the Tantive. The Super Star Destroyer is still available. There's an Invisible Hand, which is only about £45. It's definitely the cheaper option and the one that I'm looking at because that looks amazing. But this new Falcon improves in every way from the last one you can see the cockpit is using a round four by four cone element but it's got the two by two round hole in the middle and that is so they can countersink a two by two printed toll these are all printed elements which is very nice i mean certain pieces like the exhaust back here already exist in printed elements and i'm pretty sure they've even given them out for old millennium falcons if we take a look at the older one you can see there are a few pieces on the back and I don't think they are stickers. The rest of them definitely are stickers, but not those ones at the back. So it'd be lovely to see if they're using the same ones as they did in the old one. But you can see it's just so much more of a smooth build. They've rounded it off well. It keeps its shape a lot better than the old one. And like with the Yoda Starfighter, we saw that remade for last year. They're just improving it, rounding it off and putting all of the new pieces that have come out since to good use you can see there's even a little turret there which i don't think spins none of the turrets on the playset falcons even really spins so it makes sense they don't make it for here but i do like the little turret and if i don't end up buying this set at the very least i would really like to part it out one day there is another falcon that i'm hoping to build later in the year i'm just waiting for instructions to come out so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that because honestly it's one of the best mocks i have ever seen but moving on swiftly to r2d2 
that was very recent. That was only the 1st of May 2021. And apparently it's still being sold, which I didn't know. I mean, it is a £210 set. I'm not exactly keeping tabs on it. It's not something that I would like. It does come with a 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm brick, which would be very nice to get. But because of that high price tag and the fact it only came in this set means it is very, very expensive. I really wish we got a cheaper Indiana Jones set that also came with this and would have been really cool to have picked up. But R2-D2 is pretty good. I mean, there is a lot of detail. There's not really any stickers. It all seems to be brick bill and I'm sure the plaque would have been printed alongside the brick. I'm not sure if it would have at this phase, but... Let's hope it was indeed printed for that price tag that goes along with it. It doesn't work out expensive, nine pence per brick, that's pretty good price, but £210 is still a lot for Lego set. Thankfully, Lego is trying to keep it cheap and there is a bunch of £20-30 sets that are really cool on shelves now. But the new R2-D2, only 90 quid. I think it works out as the same price per piece, more or less, but it's a much, much smaller model. It does mean there are stickers. I guess it's somewhat more detailed for having stickers because you can see it's getting the angles here. This is two stickers. It looks like four. Very confusing. It's actually just on a two by four slope. So you've got two stickers here, two stickers at the bottom, another one at the bottom, five stickers. There are two round the back, which makes seven, and then three around the head. So there must be about 10 stickers on the entire thing. And I have seen a review on it that does say that the sensor is indicated as red on the plaque but definitely on the model and on the minifigure it's a pink color that they're using so it's very funny that they've said it's red when it should be pink or vice versa perhaps it should be red and they've used pink pieces but this set for 90 pound does also come with an exclusive malik figure i feel like that is a big grab for these sets the printed plate that will be or modified plate that will be in four other sets as well so it's not too common but it's not exclusive to this set and i feel like most people will be picking this up for malik because he's going to be sold for like 30 pound after this which if you're getting an r2 for an extra 60 pound makes that well worth it it is 90 pound which is under half of what the old one was and i really like the box art for this because a lot of the 18 plus sets just tend to have black boxes which if you've seen my smith's trip video recently we looked at the creative line and the creator sets that have just come out this year are so colorful even some of the ones that have come out last year look so colorful so nice and then you switch to star wars for instance and it's a lot of black boxes so the fact you've got tattooing with the binary suns is really really nice and i know we're comparing sets not boxes but it's definitely a nice box art and I quite like the like sand blue detailing in the corner of it. Of course, it's smaller, it's cheaper, it sort of makes sense. Is it better than the last one? I don't think you'll be picking this up if you paid £210 for the last one. But at the same point, if you did want a smaller R2, perhaps you don't have the space for the last one and have ended up parting it out. You could spend the £90 for this or you could try and build it with the pieces of that one. The last set we'll be looking at today, because I've spoken enough about the ones previously, is the Sith Infiltrator. Now this version came out in 1999, April 1st, which makes it one of the first Lego Star Wars sets to have come out. And I don't think it's really terrible, but it's definitely not held up to today's lego sets if this released today there would be a riot in the nearest lego stores because there's just no interior and they did work on this they improved it in 2011 we got this model which looks pretty cool it comes with four minifigures no more speeder which if the new one doesn't have more speeder it's got to have more speeder that is it's just got to have more speed up, but it didn't have an interior, I believe. I don't even think any of these had an interior, but it did come with Panica, Padme, Qui-Gon, and Maul. Hopefully the new one don't come with Padme, because we just got Padme updated in the Pod Racer, which was a few years ago, and that was great. So I'd rather have a different minifigure, though getting an updated Qui-Gon would be quite cool. We got a Duel of the Fates playset, which must have come out probably about five years ago now so they could definitely give an updated robe design to Qui-Gon Kenobi 
possibly not because he's always on the ship but Qui-Gon makes sense perhaps Panica but then again if you're including Panica you could probably include a Kenobi so I think Panica, Kenobi, Qui-Gon I could definitely see him putting an Anakin in this with some sort of bag because we've got a pod racing Anakin it's the same costume but it'd just be an excuse for them to release the figure without the goggles without the helmet and of course We'd have to get a Darth Maul, but the 2015 version does include Maul Speeder. It comes with Watto, Anakin, Maul, and Qui-Gon, which if we got a new Watto build, that would be really cool. I don't see him making it for this set because he's not too important to the Sith Infiltrator itself. I guess it would be a bit different if we got Padme ship because then Kenobi and Panica would fit in. But actually, I'd probably be leaning more towards a Watto figure than either of them. I just really hope we don't get another Padme in her same outfit that we got with the Anakin Speeder. Because I'd love to see a different costume like they put out last year. There's so many. Her wardrobe is just so large. We really need to get a variety. Perhaps they could even whack in the Queen Amatala figure, which... Would definitely be out of place and would cause havoc with the price of the old one drop him that i don't really think it would affect too much but i just can't wait to see the minifigures for the new one of course we don't have images yet we do have this silhouette that will whack on screen for you now and it really doesn't give anything away to what will be in this set so i guess we just gotta wait for official images from lego do make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss when that rumors and releases comes out at the end of every month and then of course at the start of the month, I'll let you know what sets are coming out. And that is all for me today. May the bricks be with you always.